Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube with beginner's method. So I'm going to scramble this cube and I'll be right back. Okay, let's begin. So the first step of beginner's method is solving the daisy on top. So what we need to do is we need to get all of the white edges around this yellow centerpiece. So it looks like we already have two, so we just need two more. So we just need to look around our cube. Oh look, here's one. So to get this one on top here, we're going to do this. So now we have that one on top, and we have three. So now we need one more. So there's one on the bottom. So now we're going to position it like this and turn it two times. So now we have all four centerpieces around the daisy. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to get these down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the bottom two layers until these pe until this color matches that color. And then you're going to turn it one, two times. So now it's on the bottom. So let's look at this one. This one is already matching, so you can just turn it two times, and now it's on the bottom. So now we're going to solve this one. So this one is not matching, so we're going to need to match it. So it's blue, so we need to turn the bottom two together until we get to blue. So now it's matching, so we can turn it one, two times. Now for this one, we just need to match it up and turn it two times. Now the white cross is solved and all the edge pieces are matching. The second step in solving the Rubik's Cube is solving the white face. So we've got the cross, now we just need to position the corner pieces so that they match up. So what we need to do first is look around this top layer, see if we find any white pieces. And here is one right here. So what we're going to do is turn the cube so that the white face is away from us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to match this piece to the piece in the middle. So we'll turn it here, now it's matching. So now we need to do something called a right trigger because it's on the right. So a right trigger goes like this, R, U, R prime, just like that. And now it's in here, matching. So there are some special cases where you may have a white piece that's on top of the cube. So to solve that, it's relatively easy. All we need to do is take this and then look at the bottom and position it over an edge piece that does not have, position it over a corner that does not have white. So just like that. And so now since it's on the left, we're gonna do the left trigger two times. So a left trigger goes like this. L prime, L, U prime, L. So now we're just going to have to do that one more time. L prime, U prime, L. Now it's on the top. So now we can just solve it from here. So it's orange. And now we match it to the center. And then we go like, and then we do our left trigger to get it into place. Another special condition is where the white piece is in the bottom. This one is pretty easy to fix. All you have to do is take the white with the white pa white piece and face it away from you. And now since it's on the left, you do a left trigger. So now it's up on the top and we can just match it to the center piece and then do our left trigger because it's on the left. So now we can just fin finish up our last piece and now the white side is solved along with the along with the bottom layer. The next step to solve is solving the middle layer here. So we're going to first look at the top and find some edge pieces that don't have yellow. Let's look at this one. So this one has no yellow on it. So what we're going to do is look at this piece. So this is orange. We need to match it to the orange centerpiece and so it's already matched. So now what we need to do is look at the top. The color is blue, so we find we need to find which side blue is on. So blue is on this side. 
So we're going to pull from this side and then do a right trigger. So now we have this white plate piece displaced, so we just need to fix it just like that. And now the edge piece is in place. So let's look at this one. This one has green, so we need to match it to the green center piece, just like that. And we need to find the red side, so red is over here. So we're going to pull from the red side, and then since we pulled from the red side, we're going to do a left trigger. And so now we make the white face away from us and do a right trigger. And now that's fixed. So now we can just fix the rest of the cube like that. So now the first two layers are solved. So now we need to solve the yellow cross. So whenever you're solving the yellow cross, you will either have one, two, or four yellow edge pieces. So here we have two, and it looks kind of like the hands of a clock. So you're going to position it at the 12 and 9 position. And then you're going to do the following algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And now we have solved the yellow cross. If you have no edge pieces, all you're going to have to do is just position it any way and do the algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. So now we have two edge pieces in a line. So you're going to position the line so that it's facing up and down like that. And then you're going to do the algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And so now we have our clock. So we're going to just solve that. And now we have the yellow cross solved. So now solving the whole yellow side, we need to look at how many corner pieces we have. So we should either have zero, one, or two edge pieces. We should never have three. If you have three, that probably means that you got your cube was corner twisted. So here we have one corner piece. So it looks kind of like a fish. So what we're gonna have to do is position the fish so that it's in the bottom left corner. And now we do the following algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. If you have two corner pieces solved, what you're going to do is you're going to look around the top layer and you're going to find a yellow piece on the right side. You're going to face it so that it's facing away from you and do the same algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. So now we have the yellow cross. So, but the yellow cross with no corners. So we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to find one with two yellow corners. And we're going to position it so that it's facing away from us on our left. And we're going to do the same algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. So now we have the fish. So we can just solve that. Okay, so now our yellow side is solved. So on this step, we're going to position the corner pieces. So you're going to look around your cube and see if you have any corner pieces that match. So we don't, so we're just going to simply do the following algorithm. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. And then, you're going to do the same thing you did to solve the fish. And it's done. So now you should have one pair of matching corners. So you're going to turn these so that they match the center piece like that. So now you have one matching side. You're going to hold it in your left hand and you're going to do the same algorithm. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, and then you're going to solve the fish. Now all of your corner pieces should be solved. So now the last step is to position these center pieces. So 
sometimes you'll have one whole side solved, and we'll get to that later. But right now, if you have no side solved, you're going to do this algorithm. You're going to do F2 U prime L R prime F2 L prime R U prime F2. So now you have your sides positioned correctly and you should have one fully solved side. So what you're going to do is you're going to position that side away from you. So now we need to look at this piece. So this one is red. It needs to go over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing as last time, only the U's will not be primed. So you're going to do F2 U L R prime F2 L prime R U F2 and you have solved the cube. If you come to a situation where this color is green and it needs to go this way, then you're just going to do the same thing as when we were trying to get this side solved. So you're going to do F2 U prime L R prime F2 L prime R U prime F2 and you solve the cube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have another video on um, interesting patterns you can do with the Rubik's Cube up there. Um, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching.